Hi, this is Anna from Jamshi Branch, and this is my pre-vlog for EC4, Unit 2, Lesson 3, Weird Home Remedies. Alright, so for the ID section of the project, as usual, I want to make sure that we have enough discussion as a class. Uh, we need to talk about some minor health problems and possible home remedies for each condition. In case students struggle coming up with the ideas, um, I want to make sure that I have enough examples. In terms of discussing home remedies, I think you will have a lot of fun and you will actually gain a lot from your students because um, they'll be able to tell you what kind of home remedies their moms or dads use to treat certain conditions. So um, for like burns, they'll talk about using soju or uh, bean paste, tenjang, to treat it. Or for indigestion or stomach ache, they will tell you um, that they drink plum extract uh, mixed with water or other drinks. So you don't really, you will have a lot of fun hearing and learning about new home, Korean style home remedies. Now they have chosen a minor health problem, a possible home remedy, and a storyline for their skit. Um, the team members are going to create the lines for each role. Um, this is week six, so I would like to raise the bar a bit higher. Uh, for low-level students, what happens is um, when they work on a skit, the final result is really short. And I would like to prevent them from happening this term, uh, this time. So I would, I'm planning to give them clear instructions and guidelines. So number one, each person should have at least four to five lines for their skit. Number two, instead of using um, just images as background during their skit, I would like them to use the Polaris slide to make a, a short brief PPT um, for their introduction and conclusion and the images, the background images they could use during their skit. I've had, uh, I had a chance to teach them how to use the Polaris slide and everyone was pretty good at it and they were, they picked it up really 